Hi, this is James of Vision Home Inspections. Today we're going to talk to you about how to caulk your shower surround. This can be really important because you can develop water damage to the subflooring or you can damage your tile or vinyl. So we want to make sure that that area is watertight. These are a few of the things we're going to need here. We're going to need a, some dishwasher soap. We'll need a bowl. We'll need some painter's tape. Just a little bit of bleach. We're definitely going to want to have a utility knife, a putty knife, and of course, this is the most important ingredient. We're using a DAP Quick Seal Kitchen and Bath uh, Adhesive Caulk. And uh, one of the main reasons we selected this is because it is mildew and mold resistant. We've all seen how that that caulk can begin to turn black. It looks nasty. This is going to help to resist that and hopefully last for years. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is to clean this area up very well. It's an important step. Any debris or any of the old caulk that's left is going to keep you from creating that continuous bond. It's going to make it watertight. So we're going to take about a cap full of bleach, put that in two cups of water, and this is going to help to kill any mildew or mold that might be there. And then, of course, some of that is very hard, and that's where we're going to need a scraper. We just want to be very careful not to damage our acrylic or tile as we begin to scrape off some of that that is... Uh, a little bit harder some of the old caulk. If you have like a complete area of caulk there that you might have to start that with your utility knife. Our next steps to tape it we want to just create a gap that's about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch and you want to take your time with this because this is what's going to give you those nice straight edges and this is going to make the cleanup just 100 times easier so a little extra effort in the beginning but I promise you it's going to save you time in the end. And so this is what it looks like when it's ready for the caulk. It's clean, it's taped, nice and straight lines, nice little one eighth to one quarter gap. And so we are going to cut that tip at about a 45 degree angle. And we're just going to apply some pressure and get that across there. And again, because of the tape, we don't have to be super careful or talented with this. We just want to get some caulk in there. And once we've covered that entire area, we're just going to dip our finger in that soapy water and this just uh, makes our cleanup just a little bit easier. And we're just going to run that across there. We're not pressing too hard. We just want to run it straight across, get rid of that excess, and then we're going to remove our tape. Nice, straight, clean lines. Just be careful pulling that off of there. It could be a little messy. Look how neat that is. All that excess is gone. We're not having to wipe that away and so forth. And then we're just going to hit it one more time, very gently, going across the top. Uh, and this is going to be our final pull. And just take it right across there. Look how neat and clean that is. And we're not taking very much caulk off this time because we've already uh, done that once. And that is it. Look how good that looks. Okay, there we have it. Some very nice clean lines. It looks really good. Now you're going to want to let that sit for at least 24 hours just to make sure that it's nice and firm before you start using the shower in this area. And that should provide service for quite some time. So I'm James McFadden with Vision Home Inspections, your building consultant for life.